Adesanya barking at him. All right, here we go with our middleweight championship fight. Strickland is in the white. Israel Adesanya wearing the red for the first time in his UFC career. Is he changing it up? Red shorts. We saw him in the blue last time, I believe. Yep. Strickland repeatedly acknowledged to us how difficult he thought the first 10 minutes of this fight could be. And this is where Sean's gonna try to be all fight, all night long, try to be right in the grill of Adesanya. He does reach with his hands to try to find his distance. And then he tries to go. The one thing Strickland will not do is tire. But Adesanya will constantly give him this. Faints and fakes to try to back him up. Inside leg kick for Strickland, not much on it. Sometimes the heavy faint game of Izzy isn't always entirely appreciated when he does it for long stances, but facing a guy like that can be exhausting because you're, you're just constantly so reacting. Edge. Yeah, you're you're edge so edge on edge, exactly. And you can see Sean already, I mean, his defensive structures are, are so unique to the way that he fights. We saw him struggle with reacting to the feints in the Pereira fight, but I feel like he's learned a lot from that and is probably a better fighter coming into this fight because of it. Just like with everything else in his life, the downs have allowed for him to rebuild and be better for it. And he's gonna try to use what happened against Pajeda to benefit him in this fight with Adesanya. One thing he cannot do is he cannot reach for the punches of Izzy. That is what ultimately got him caught by Alex Pereira. Strickland just out of range with that right hand. Two minutes gone by round one. One of the things that Izzy does so well right here, the way that he physically controls the air between he and his opponent, Whoever is hand fighting and has the high hand is winning in that moment, and he's preventing Sean from being able to use the jab, which is one of his best weapons. Eric Nixick, Danny Davis, chiefing the corner of Sean Strickland. Izzy's just constantly making reads. You wonder if Izzy is gonna start popping that jab to the body, trying to bring the hands of Strickland down a little bit. Right now, Strickland's being very disciplined with his hands, trying to keep him up to make sure that he's not taking much damaging shots. Like right there, he blocked that one. He has such a unique way, uh, his guard is unique, do you see? The way that he has sort of like this modified shoulder roll Philly shell, but when you fight in a Philly shell, normally you're very, very bladed, whereas Sean is extremely square, and it does at times present the opposite side of his face to where he's parrying. The kicks. Yeah. The kicks also, that's usually how you could take advantage of Strickland. Because he's fighting in that position, or a Philly shell type of fighter, the kicks are what normally will land for you. Just like Cannoneer. Yes. Very much took advantage of that. There you go. The champion measured early on. Right oh, hand connection for Strickland. Adesanya counters with a jab. You gotta be careful when Izzy starts playing possum, though. That's yeah. exactly what he did against, did against Pereira. But he I just mean, shelled up. Yeah, but not much has happened, right? So when Izzy starts to play possum, if Strickland can just get active, you might win the round. Adesanya attacked that lead leg. Strickland appeared to raise it to check under a minute to go in the round.
And hopefully Sean Strickland didn't blow too much in that exchange. He will not get tired. I heard stories that Strickland is sparring 15, 20 rounds in preparation for this. But he's got to stay patient. He's got to stay to the game plan because Edesanya will now be a little bit more aggressive in his approach. So a wild, wild end to round one has changed the complexion of this middleweight championship main event. We'll see the extent to which Adesanya has recovered. Well, some observers may not have liked the body language from Sean Strickland walking out, perhaps looking a little bit nervous, but he has been focused from moment one of this championship fight. Yeah, I was one of them. I thought he looked a little tense on the wall. Sean Strickland's a man on a mission is what that was. One of the things that standing so upright like Sean Strickland allows him to do is check those leg kicks pretty effectively. He has done a good job of checking kicks. Either checking or just not being there, which is even better. I mean, he's just constantly on the pressure. He's on the pressure, but he's being very measured in the way that he's attacking that Asanya. It's when you get desperate and start throwing too much is when Izzy finds his shots. Yeah, but Sean, Sean never fights like that. He will, even when he sees the finish coming, he's very measured right. in the way that he follows it. The Abu Smagamedo fight, he didn't rush that whatsoever. He just allowed the finish to come to him. And watching Adesanya, he gets right back to fighting in the way that you expect him to, right? Back on the feints, back on the popping and moving. You just imagine or wonder how much did getting knocked down affect him because I can't imagine he expected Trickling to get anything off on him in that way. Oh, that's as clean no. a right hand as we've seen yeah. Adesanya absorb. For sure. Well, the story on Sean Strickland is that he doesn't have the most powerful hands either. So you come into a fight not necessarily expecting to yeah. meet that level of power. Dude, I watch this sport and I'm always like, so how crazy. much I love it. So crazy. I just <laughs> love <laughs> MMA, man. It is the best. Eric Nixick looking for Strickland to use some feints to get his way inside. Big right hand over the top now for the champ. Is he still in this sort of figuring yeah. out process as well? He's making reads, but he's having to deal with a lot of offense yeah, as he's making them. I just actually saw him get, make a smirk at Sean Strickland after he lands the right hand. It feels like he's starting to kind of find yep. Strickland now. Like, he's settling into the fight a little bit. Strickland has to find a way to interrupt that before Adesanya starts to flow too much. Adesanya working off that jab effectively here midway through round two. Now the low leg kick. Good shot to the body by Adesanya. And now a low leg kick is there as well. That was a beautiful jab there by Strickland. That's one of his best shots, Laura. That straight jab, it's fast and it's very powerful. Yeah, he lives and breathes by that jab and that allows him to operate in this really, what is it, a close distance especially. Oh, big shot from Adesanya. Yeah, Adesanya's starting to get reads on him. Strickland's about to do something to try to change it. Good response thus far in this round by the champ under a minute, now to go. And that's exactly what you expect from Israel. We talked about how he's lived in these moments, and all these moments have not been great or easy for him. He's had to deal with adversity, and once again, he's showing how he sits on that stool, takes a minute, and resets. And now he's winning this round. Nice I job defensively there by the champ as well, Laura. I was just going to say, I love how Izzy switches stances as he retreats. A lot of times that opens up the body kick or the head kick for him as he floats back into southpaw. Looking to fake a spin. Good job. And a right hand by Strickland late in the round. 
10 minutes in the can, potentially 15 to go. Calculating some sort of setup, some sort of trap for you. And you're just behind. A lot of times I, I, I call it taking pictures, right? You're yeah. watching, you're in awe of Israel Adesanya, and then you can't go. I'd like to get the numbers in that round because how much does Sean Strickland actually throw after winning round one against the champion? Eric Nixick also calling to get a little bit of grappling going, at least show the grappling, get him thinking about something else other than this beautiful jab. Well, yeah, late the... round grappling, right? Yeah. Sorry, Johnny said that when he throws the jab, it lands. He's just not throwing enough. He threw 31 in round two. It's going to take a little more than that to take the belt off Adesanya. Strickland does a really good job of seeing the kicks and just kind of stepping back half an inch, making Izzy miss. He's so hard to hit clean. I mean, that's what Sean does so well is you can, you can touch him, but you're not touching him with much because he's deflecting everything with his hands and with his shoulders and with his posture. There are the numbers. You see the efficiency from Sean Strickland, but not much in terms of output in round two. Well, and Adesanya's accuracy, I mean, way down from what we've seen him again. I mean, Sean's just so good at defensively forcing his opponents to, you know, miss. Well, just being on your heels the entire time is not fun. No. Never exhausting gives an opportunity too. to control the engagement. Strickland seeing things pretty well defensively, but Adesanya makes it up his targets here round two. Three, excuse me. Not really much in sequence nor combination for Strickland. Trying to create an angle here. Strickland's defenses are on point right now, but it's got to be more offensive. Adesanya will win on activity if Strickland continues to just follow him without putting much activity out. Right hand landed for Izzy, and that a counter right partially for Strickland. That lead leg question mark of Israel Adesanya is tremendous, super tricky the way that he throws it. Well, right after this main event, don't miss a recap of all the action on the UFC 293 post show on E Plus. Rashad Evans and Dean Thomas hanging out with Phil Murphy. Megan's here to interview all the big winners. It is only yours on E Plus. Strickland just out of range with that right hand, sort of a pedestrian round through three minutes. And it's a round that each of them can win. 4 of 16 for Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland is doing oh! Left hand down home for Strickland. I think I saw Izzy made a little bit of a face at, at the end of that one. I think that one got through a bit. All right, so here's that 90-second mark. We'll see if Strickland, and you just heard the imperative from Eric Nixon. We'll see if we see some grappling out of Strickland late in the round. Strong jab there from Strickland. Body oh. shot on the left hook. Strickland taking advantage of some moments late in the round. Landed a good left hook there. Eric Nixon dropping that all important word optics in a close round. Yep, he's on that word, right? In a very close round. That, like stuff like that, that jab. And that was a good jab. Yeah. Yeah. He said that's why he felt like he lost the Jerry Cannonier fight. He outstruck Jared on the numbers, but he felt it was the optics. And the fact is that the scoring criteria does to some extent favor a power puncher. It's the big shots yes. that are going to get you the most points. 
But you can certainly argue the bigger shots yeah. in this third round were landed yeah, by, by the challenger. Absolutely. This one is getting very tight. Scorecards could very well be all over the place, at least in that third yeah. round. Ten minutes to decide it. Let's throw up some of those scorecards from the <laughs> internet like we usually do so we can get an idea of what's going on because, man, it's a close fight. And if you think it's 2-1 Sean Strickland, that is not a bad read. No. Because he landed some good shots in the second round. But you heard Eric Nix Nick Nixit. I'm so nervous, man. <laughs> Eric Nixit. Eric Don't Nixit be nervous, dude. was saying we didn't come here to lose a boring decision. Get after him. It's like I'm in there fighting again. Seems like a lot of the scores out there are 2-1 Strickland. We'll populate some of those for you now. Mm. Adesanya goes high, partially blocked by Strickland. Wow. Uh, I didn't expect the majority of them. You know, usually it's, it, it's kind of everywhere. But if Strickland won that third round, he cannot have another round like round two where he just didn't do much. He needs to start countering immediately off the kicks of Adesanya because there are moments where Israel's open as he's finishing the kick process. I think Izzy needs to kind of set on something a little bit. Agreed. He's moving a lot right now. I think Adesanya needs to put something on Strickland to try to back Strickland off of him. Well, and he's so good when he operates in the pocket like he did against Robert Whitaker. Israel Adesanya can land power from strange angles when his bot right here. Oh. Oh. And a big left hand oh. from Strickland. Oh. Sean Strickland. My goodness, Sean Strickland landed a big left hook there. And now a right hand partially gets through. Adesanya's body language not great as he presses forward and lands a right hand. Good body kick by the champ. But I think we're all feeling the tension of this title fight here. Three yeah. minutes to go round four. And like you said, Izzy was a minus 600 favorite. Massive number. That jab of Strickland, it must be very long because it gets to Adesanya even when Adesanya is leaning back. And that's a position that Izzy does and not many can really pull off. And look at those numbers in terms of the misses forced upstairs by Sean Strickland. Adesanya's missed over 100 attempts to the head. Yeah. That was wild. I don't think, off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody else who has made him miss this much. Oh, good combination from Strickland. Didn't look like Possum playing there. It just seems like when Sean lands, there's more to it than when Adesanya lands. Sean would be smart to mix it up, maybe go to the body once Izzy starts guarding up like that, shelling up. Oh, oh nice oh, switch baby. right hand there by the champ. That was beautiful. Strickland stalks and lands a jab. Good body kick from Adesanya. But the champ just hasn't consistently found that flow state, and Strickland deserves credit. That's what he does. He just makes guys uncomfortable, and he forces them to operate yeah. in a way that's outside of their natural style. He does it to almost everybody. You don't want to fight like this. I, I don't care how good a counter striker you are. Right? You don't want to be on your heels the entire time. Nope. Especially with a guy in front of you that's in a, a, a bit of a Philly show. It's tiring to fight off the back foot as well, especially, I mean, when you think about the hours of training for Israel Adesanya, how many hours do you think he spent going backwards consistently for four, three rounds, four rounds? All right, the whole, it's been four rounds of this fight for sure. Izzy has not been able to dictate to Sean Strickland. And that has allowed Sean Strickland to not only be in this fight, but possibly winning this fight. Yeah. And I know some fans have wondered aloud if eventually, as both guys land there, the breakneck schedule of Adesanya would one time catch up with him. You said he was a minus 600 favorite, John? Yeah, well. Minus 675 Six, at close. Gosh. Those live numbers don't look like that anymore. This is, that a, much. this is a sport that will make fools of anyone. Yep. You can never think you know.
Waning seconds of round four. Strickland lands a jab. Now kicks the body. <laughs> to the final round we go. It could be two to two. It could be one to three. It could be three to one no Strickland. Idea. And if it's three to one Sean Strickland and he's winning three rounds against Israel Adesanya, nobody would ever have expected that. Dude, there was some frustration and worry in the corner of Israel Adesanya. He said he can't find his jab. Eugene Behrman told him he's going to have to take some risk, but there is no risk in him throwing the right hand. Champ, I find it hard to believe Adesanya could be leading 3-1 on any cards. You uh, never know. You just never know, but I'm just saying. I'm just throwing all options yeah, out there. Fair. But I can't imagine it's 3-1 Adesanya. Honestly, I think it's 3-1 Strickland. Yeah. Looked like Adesanya was loading up and partially caught Strickland's arm. I mean, Sean Strickland's defense, when he reaches with his arms, it makes Izzy, his right hand, miss because he hits him on the arm and the shoulders. The way that he hides behind his shoulder, the shoulder, I mean, it's, no one does it the way that Sean Strickland does it in MMA. It's a boxing thing, but you just don't see it that often in this sport that someone does it so effectively. And what I love is Sean is still pressuring. I mean, he, he may believe he's up on the scorecards, but he's not going to fight any different. Well, he's not going to play it safe and start skating around. He can't, Laura. If he allows Izzy to start dictating to him, he's going to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. He's got to continue to do what's allowed for him to get ahead in this fight. Well, 100 pay-per-views ago in Melbourne, Australia, Holly Holm turned in the biggest upset in UFC Women's Championship history. Might we be in store for more history 100 pay-per-views later tonight? Man. I just, I guess I'm just amazed that Strickland has found a way to make Edesanya play the mouse the entire time. He has. He has never allowed for him to play the cat. One of the things he's done really well is the way that he's hacky sacking against those calf kicks. That's been an issue for Sean in the past, and he's not allowing Izzy to have much success when he's attacking the calf. You know, we talk about Sean Strickland and some of the things that he went through in his life, right? And how he said that it helped him to become the man that he is. He got knocked out by Alex Ferreira. He went and trained with Alex Ferreira. So this is a man that, for no matter what you feel about him, he is always trying to improve himself. Yep. And he will humble himself to do that. Takes a big ego check to be able to go learn from the person who, who knocked you out. And let us also acknowledge that he put his number four ranking on the line against an unranked Alex Pereira when no top five middleweight contender was willing to do that. Is he just landed a good right hand? Yeah. And now Strickland landed a good jab there. Izzy's gonna have to let it get a little dirty now. Yeah, it seems like Izzy understands yep. the urgency of the moment. Just over two minutes to go. Izzy's gonna have to stand on a coin, man. He's gonna have to stop moving. Oh, uh, good jab from Adesanya. Hilo, Eric Nixick asking for Sean Strickland to vary his targets. You know what's crazy is Sean Strickland, outside of those push kicks, hasn't thrown one kick. Oh, I know. He's boxing the he entire has time. A jab and a two, and he's winning a championship fight with him. And there's that jab again, 90 seconds to go. Against one of the greatest strikers you've ever seen inside the octagon. And there you take down attempt from Sean Strickland, who lands another jab and partially connects with a right Whoa. hand. That right hand got the champ's attention. And it doesn't look like he's doing much, but look at how beat up Izzy is. Oh. Izzy's face is battered, man. And Strickland doesn't even look like he's breathing hard. Izzy's bloody and he's swollen. The champ is gonna have to sit and throw, man. He's gonna have to fire. We've I'm seen Izzy, minute. sorry John, stepped right over you. I was gonna say we've seen Izzy in these tough spots before though, the Calvin Gastelum fight brings back memories. Oh, good connection by Strickland. And once again, Adesanya on the retreat. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. This is crazy. This was not how I expected this fight to play out. And now Strickland's talking to him. Holy cow. 
Strickland flapping gums late. Final 10 seconds. Adesanya lands a kick to the body. championship history. We await the all-important scorecards, but Sean Strickland, in all likelihood, is heading back to the United States of America as the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Sean Strickland just came to Australia and won. I can't believe it. She beat him bad. My jaw is open right now. Sean Strickland is exactly who he said he was. My goodness, Laura Sanko. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm literally like, seriously, I love to talk and I have no words because that was a fantastic performance. Wow. Well, bet on mixed martial arts at your own peril. Perhaps one thesis statement. Let's take a look at some of the work early on. I mean, that right hand from Sean Strickland knocks down Israel Adesanya. The follow-ups did a lot of damage, but it's the, the pattern, the one-two, no recoil. Sean Strickland all over Israel Adesanya in this exchange. Izzy survived this, though, gives a thumbs up at one point to the referee, but later on in the fight, the jab of Sean Strickland. I mean, Israel Adesanya certainly had his moments, but he was forced on the back foot the entire fight and it's very difficult to counter strike or kick and this right here that is Sean Strickland in his element loving life fighting like a man oh my gosh it was a long time coming for Sean Strickland he repeatedly stepped up for the company got his title shot made the most of it Bruce Buffer with the official decision Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And.